episode of the show is brought to you by Dwight the Janitor, Brian N., Ben Jammin, Dharma Wheelies, Turbo the High Level Squirrel, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penis, Despicable Dogs, It's Leo Motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, and Crispy808. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhouse militia. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our live show at immoraljuice.com on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send us an email at travelswithmiriam at gmail.com. Doing a call? Yeah, yeah. Well, hi. Hey. Hello? Prince can I help you? Hey. Yeah, we're in room 43 over here. There's a problem. Mm. There's water coming out of the sprinklers. Wait, oh, man. I don't know. Like, it's room 43. It's under Carlito. 43? Yeah, under Carlito. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking me. He's fucking me. Sir, I, do I sound like I'm underwater? Ow. Water, buddy. 43? Sir, I'm drowning. Yeah. I'm drowning in Under bad Carlito. audio. Huh? He's fucking me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm from the front deck. Hello. No, <laughs> you come front, Jenny. Yeah. You, you want me to go to the front desk? Yeah, because Should I don't know what room are you in. Forty-three. Ten. Um, but I want Ten. I want Lordy. you to come to my room. It's no forty-three. Yes, there is. Don't I lie. I need you to come to my room, please. <laughs> Hello, medicine. Okay, Thank you for bearing with. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hello? Hi. I need to get a room. Is that possible no. tonight? Oh, no. why not? What happened? Uh, all room full. Oh, what are they full of? Yeah. No, what? What's inside the room that makes them full? Uh, thank you. No, no, no. I need to know what's inside the room that's making it full. I love you. I love you so much. Premise. Thank you for calling the Cobblestone Inn and Suites, mm-hmm. Fort Madison. This is Donald. Hello. Can I help you tonight? Hi. Hey, we we got a problem. We were doing some MythBuster stuff in the room. Uh, it's full of you know a cloud of baking soda and vinegar. Now it's like a volcano in here erupted. It got everywhere. My kid was what doing room are you in school. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure, and I don't. My glasses got lost in the mix of all this. I was able to call you, but that's about it. Uh, what room are you in? Well, I don't remember. My my wife's got the the key and all that. I, I can't see. So yeah. I I mean, there, I don't. If I don't my know what room you're in, I don't like, know. Like I don't how know where my kid is. With. Well, we were near the the front there. Ah! Get over here. Come to my voice. No. No. Come closer. To touch it. Come closer to me. No. Come on. No. Come closer. Get away from me. Well, then go I'll outside and get the number for the door. You look like that guy from Home Alone. Yeah, go outside the door. Get the number for the, like the man. You look like the one with a lot of hair. You look like the one with a lot of hair from Home Alone in the bald spot. I'm going to throw the phone to you. Here, take it. Oh, why? Why? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, hello? 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 Sir, ma'am? Ma'am, sir? Hello? hello? What room are you in? Uh, we're, we're in, uh, I think it's like 25, 16 or something like that. 20, you're in what room? Uh, it's 25, 16, Why? We don't have a room 2516. Uh, are you sure? Uh, the, are you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm really scared right now. 
I, I saw the visions of the guy from Home Alone. You know, like my dad's like the the tall guy. You know, the one the the hairy guy, and the other guy that wears the beanie and got his hands burned on the door is standing in the other side of the room. Oh my god! Sir. Who's doing it? He's in. How may I help you? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're riding our bike there. Do you have any room openings? Yes. Okay. How big are the openings? We're fat. I need to know if you have the 48-inch door or or 36-inch door. How I have the no idea. Oh. Okay. We're going about a mile an hour. Let me get my brother the phone. Brother, here. Yeah. To the man. Yeah, hi. 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 I, I need to get lumber into the room, so we need the door to be wide. You know, like a two by four wide. Why does it sound like an old 1920s radio program in the background there? Uh, Listen to that. Do you hear that? It's like suspense. It could be our elevator. <laughs> Your elevator? Oh, how wide is yeah, the elevator? Have, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't have a. Do you have a tape hand. measure? Oh, see, we're we're on the same wavelength. Um, do you think maybe you could uh, leave your post and go to Home Depot and get a tape measure real quick? My truck won't make it that far. I'm in Fort Madison, Iowa. Your what won't make it that far? My truck. How far is Home Depot? Home Depot is about an hour away. <laughs> Holy shit! What, what do you and do I've when got, your toilet breaks? I've got breaks? a motor made in sex. Uh, not I've got a motor that in was made sex. in the '60s. No, no, uh, I've got a motor that was made oh. in the '60s. Well, I was I was made in sex between my mother well, and I my mean, father. I mean, so was I. Well, it could so have been my else. mother and the mailman. Could have been my mother and the mailman, or my mother and the FedEx guy. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I think the FedEx guy is on. I think the FedEx guy is here. Hey, Steve. Steve, you there? Yeah. Hey. Hey. It's hey, Steve. you fuck. Hey, did you fuck my mom? Yeah, but but not not out of pleasure. It was out of spite. Oh. Hey, why aren't why haven't you sent me birthday presents? Because what? I'm not your I'm not your dad I'm not your daddy I'm not your daddy I'm not your poppy. Uh, is it sure? Isn't it customary for a father to send his kid birthday presents? Yeah. Well, see, the FedEx guy who you were just talking to sired me with my mother. Is that the right word? Sired. Well, I yeah, I was I was knighted by the Queen of England, but that's when Miriam was in reign. Oh, King Queen Miriam, yes, she's here too. <laughs> Why am I so boss? Why is it so boss down there? Wow, you're you're kind of all business, aren't you? Well, I am. I've got about half what they say. Left. He's all oh. loose in the pants, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Do you do you do business in your pants? No. No. Oh. There's no brothels nearby. I do. Yeah. I make I make big business in my pants. Oh, every day.
Hey, um, so about the width of the elevator, what are you going to do? Are you going to... Yeah, the width of the room. Yeah, you offered us a room. Now we have to negotiate. Well, I don't know if you're going to get any lumber in here. I can take you to my GM, which could tell you more. If she's here. What, well, you're speaking of lum- lumber. What, have you seen Bill Lumber? Has he been around there? Oh, yeah. Bill Lumber. <laughs> Might not even be the right Lumber, but. Can you tell your boss that they're everything that's soulless and wrong with Inatech? Tell him I said. I got your back. I don't want you to lose your job. An insubordination. Lumber fucked her. Have you ever talked back to your boss? My boss's family. Oh, so you have, right around age 13 then. Okay. Do they have a hotel grease for the door? Maybe I can, like, move up and get in. Like last time. Yeah, help us out. Help us get this fat motherfucker in the door. Yeah, you're being discriminatory against fat people. I am fat. You are fat? Yeah, so how can I discriminate against fat people if I am? You could be a self-hating fat person. I do hate myself. There's always that. Oh, don't say that. Do you do you want to tell us? I can change about that. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. For example, through helping others, like helping us get through the door. How close are you to the hotel? Oh, we're about four thousand miles away. We'll be there tomorrow. Don't you know our rooms for the night are like thousands of dollars? Yeah, of course, because I only buy things that are extravagant. Yeah, our hotel is super expensive. It's really are, are the rooms are the rooms with roaches more expensive than the rooms with bed bugs? We don't have none of those. This is a five star hotel. Oh, is it now? So you've yeah, got classy bed bar bugs. And like, so, like, the bed bugs have monocles and they wear, like, coats and tails? No. Oh. Well, you said you were a high class establishment and all your bed bugs are underdressed. We don't have bed bugs. You... Of course you do. Every hotel does. You just hide them. When well, the guests come, you're like, "Hey, I, I what? wouldn't, I wouldn't know because I've never gone into the rooms." You, oh my god! I'm not housekeeping. You don't eat your own cooking. Oh. Well, I think you should learn your product because then you would have known if we could fit through the door. Well, see, look, if you're over four thousand miles away and you're traveling at one mile an hour. <laughs> That will take you 4,000 hours to get here. See, you're you're an intelligent person. You remembered a detail from like 10 minutes ago, what our velocity yeah. was. Yeah, smart guy. So yeah, we don't like will, smart people. You guys would be around... How old are you now? How How heavy are we? How old are you? Oh. Five. Don't don't sigh so, at me. So you're five. Yeah. Five, five well, decades. Can I, can I talk to your parents? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, um, I have any number of parents in the pool. What the fuck, you fucking punk ass bitch? 
See, that that's my first father. All righty, well, I'm going to let you go. You can have you, your, you, can have, you can have your fun with your full no, 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 no. And so do hey. I. I've got my, I've got my, my degree bullshit. too. I've you got do? a law degree. Did you probably from probably from bullshit. some online bullshit? Alrighty, well, you can have fun with your uh, four thousand mile trip. I'm gonna let you go. Hey, we travel in style. Unlike your bed bugs. I almost. Thanks for calling the Super 8 by Wyndham. This is Amanda. How can I help you? Hi, Amanda. Oh, hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, what can I help I'm you? I'm in the bathroom. Oh, I'm in the bathroom, and this guy, he won't come out of the stall. i got to use the bathroom real real bad, and he doesn't understand the emergency. He won't come out. We lost the patient. <laughs> American front desk. Hi, uh, you guys know the bathroom, the public bathroom? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm in here because I have to use the bathroom, but there's somebody in there, and I've been knocking on the door for 15 minutes, and they won't come out. They don't understand the urgency here. Oh. And they won't open the door because I'm not. Right. I'm trying right, to play. Don't you bother I'm me, man. Try to take a dump. I am um, the public bathroom. Yeah, which I stop your damn knocking. Um, which public bathroom are you referring to? The one I'm trying. I'm sitting there like I've got to make. I've got to make the squirts. And this guy, I can hear him in there. He's playing Angry Birds, and he won't he won't open the door. And you're at the American Hotel, correct? Yeah. And this person, they're there. I can hear him. I can hear the birds. Um. Well, I'm looking at all three of our public bathrooms, and I don't see anybody standing here. So. I just you don't you don't see I just don't think they understand. Oh, which floor are you on? Are you on the first floor or second floor? Hey, 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 hang on, hang on. Obviously, I'm not I'm not getting any help here, and I'm going to have to take I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands here. Do, do, can I get permission? I'm just trying to understand at which restroom you're at because I don't see anybody here. In my ah, here we restroom. go. Here we go. Ah, you should open the fucking door when I told you to, motherfucker. Now I'm going to take a shit. Why don't you get your little panties off of that goddamn toilet? That's my toilet now, motherfucker. You piece of shit. God. Ah, come here. Come here, motherfucker. Yeah, it's all over for you now, baby. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna chew on the glass. Put your mouth on the glass. Chew on the glass, motherfucker. Touch the glass. Chew on the glass. Ah! Ah! Chew on it, motherfucker, you. Help, he's touching it. Asshole. Thanks for calling the Super 8 by Wendell. This is Amanda. How can I help you? Amanda, I needing your help. What? I'm uh, I'm needing your help, Amanda, por favor. Hello. For what? What are you are you what room are you in? I'm I see I'm in a room but I'm in the bathroom and it's because last night I met a man, um, we met at the bar, and he told me to come back with him to the hotel, and we were going to, you know, get a couple more drinking and having a little bit of fun, but last night, it kind of got weird, because we were, you know, we were um, doing the thingy, and and last night, he put the pillow, he put the fucking pillow on my face, and he told me, bite it, bite the pillow, and I didn't really like how he was putting the pillow on my face. So 
So, I'm right now, he's he finally asleep. And I'm in the bathroom. He made me eat some old food and my stomach is hurting and I don't want to wake him up. And I need toilet paper, please. I need some fucking toilet paper and I don't want to go because he's out there. I don't want to wake him up. Bueno. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, um, yeah. Get... Huh? Excuse me? I said one second. I don't have a Excuse second. I'm going to start going now. I'm going to start going now. Well, I'm not coming up to your room. I'm I going to call to my come to the room. I can't hold it. Uh, I I can't hold it, please. He's gonna wake up if I start to go. Sure, it's not like a brothel. Hello, thank you for choosing Excellent. You're speaking to Randy. Hey, Randy, how's it going, boss? It's going good, and you? I'm doing pretty okay myself. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking to, uh, to you know, book a party for me and my friends. Uh, we call ourselves the, uh, the the Cactus Group. We're like a group of professional bowlers, uh-huh. right? Um, and we're just wondering, you know, because we're, we're a group that plays with bowling alley balls. What's the what's the heaviest ball you guys have? The heaviest? Yeah. Uh, it's fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Man. A 15? That's, man, do you guys sure you don't have a 20? Oh, there's a 20? Legit, I didn't even know we, uh, there's a 20. Yeah, man, it goes up to like 25 for a guy's, you know? Yeah, like 25 down ball. What? That, that's heavy, no? Yeah. Oh, it's super heavy, but anyway, I didn't realize, man. So, what did you say the biggest one you have is? It's 15. Dude, you have. You have 15 pound balls? No way, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I think that's our heaviest. Dude, how do you walk around like that? How do you have 15 pound balls? That's insane. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. It's a struggle, but I'll make it work. You know, dude, that's, I'm so impressed, dude. No, nah, uh, but. Yeah, I don't think we have a, a bigger size. Hey, but... Foo. Hey, Foo. Foo, Foo, Foo. Do, do you wash balls? Huh? Hey, I'm going to put my boy Miguel on the line. Hey, Miguel, hop in here. Hop in here for me. He's, a, he's the other professional. Hey, no. What's up, Foo? What's up? Hey, it's me and my homie Ted right here, Foo. Who's good with it? Say, what's up, Ted? What's up, Holmes? What's up? What, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get a lane for you today? You mean you? I want a lane, but I want the music to say, Welcome to Guantanamera. Oh, no, I don't think we could do that, because it's a random playlist. Guantanamera, Guantanamera. You can't play that for me? No, nah, I mean, I can ask, but I doubt it. Who's your DJ, fool? Nah, we don't have a DJ. It's just a random playlist that we have. Oh, you fired... Oh, man, you replaced him with AI? The oh, fuck, man. Yeah, In know. a world where the playlist sucks dick and you have no options, come to the bowling alley, motherfucker. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Uh, did somebody just score? Did they make points in the game, bro? Uh, yeah, I, I think somebody just hit a strike. It was lucky, Holmes. I bet you they can't do it again. Probably not. Yeah, you don't have no real players up in there. They're just hood rats. 
<laughs> nah, I don't think no one plays professionally here. But yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, are you guys trying to come in today or another day? Yeah, but we want to play naked, Holmes. <laughs> no, I don't think you could do that, bro. Hey, it's fool, cool. your socks are right now, fool. What? Hey, hey, Miguel, hey, Miguel, give me the phone back, bro. I got, I got, I got something for it. I said, how high are your fucking socks right now, fool? <laughs> They're not that high. You got ankle socks on or what? Nah, I just got no socks check, like the... <laughs> <laughs> no, they just go up to like, maybe like five inches above my ankle. Nah, fool, that shit needs to go like below your knee and shit, fool. You need some higher socks, fool, because you ain't down like that, fool. The higher the socks, the downer the fool. <laughs> no. Oh. I'll get them next fucking, bro. Hey, you're over there with bowling balls and shit, bro. You fucking hand on balls and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, uh... I low-key got to go, bro, because there's a line for me. Hey, bro, one yeah, more Yeah, because you got to go and touch some more balls, huh? <laughs> nah. Bro. Yeah, do you wash your hands after you handle the balls? I do. Good man. <laughs> you better wash your hands before you handle my balls. I'm in there tonight, fool. You're going to know who I am. Watch. <laughs> Yeah. All right, then, bro. Uh, what was, was that the last question? I'm going to be the fool with the hella high-ass socks. Fool, you're going to see me, fool. You're going to see what the fuck I'm going to do what, fool. <laughs> All right. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you see our YouTube Hell channel? Yeah, fool. What was that? You got to check out our YouTube channel. It's called YouTube Socks. YouTube Socks? Yeah. Yeah, I'll check on it later. Yeah, all we do is wear tube socks, bro. Up to our knees. <laughs> all right, then, bro. Uh, I got to go because I have a register. And there's a line for me. Hold on, fool. Hey, one more, th- one more thing. That's it. All right, listen. Oh. Please hold while I try to connect you. And then they go. Shadow Lanes, how can I help you? Hey, a man. Is there a manager I can speak to? Uh, What's it pertain to? I got an issue I need dealing with, and I know I can't just talk to the employee. I need to speak to a manager right now. Uh, What's the issue? Are you a manager or not? I don't want to waste my time telling you you can't just connect me to somebody that's higher above you. Yeah, but I need to know what it is for. Tell him I have an issue with the bowling balls. What's the issue with the balls? Are you going to connect me or not? Who are you? What do you do there? Hey, man, is that how you deal with people that have issues at your bowling place? I was going to just hang up on them? I I, I transferred you. You hung up. No, it hung up. It hung up. Here, you hung here. up. Hello, what's the regarding? Hi, is this the manager? Hello. What's the regarding? Is this the manager? What's the regarding? Is this a manager? Is this a what manager? What is the regarding? What is uh, the regarding? Who are you? I don't what know who you are. What company are you calling from? Are you a manager? Oh, I are don't you know who you are. are you a what manager? company are you calling to... from? What does it matter? Who are you? Can I talk to someone? Can I try this one last time, please? Yeah. Thank you for calling Kingpins Portland. This is John. How can I help you? John, I have a quick issue I need uh just I need to kinda get this taken care of. Is there a manager I can speak to? Um yeah, I'll find someone for you. Can I just ask who uh, who's calling? My name is Richard. And I need to speak to him, please. It's very important. Okay. Yeah, give me one sec. Yay. Finally talking to a manager. 
Milkman like my big nuts. He wants to put them in his. Hi, this is uh, Maddie Johnson. Um, I'm a manager. What's up? Maddie Johnson, I have an issue with some of your bowling balls. Oh, okay. What's the issue? You see what happened? Was, you see what happened was, I went there bowling about uh, Tuesday evening, mm-hmm. and I work with my hands just like you go to work every day. You, I'm pretty sure you use your hands typing in your little computer, getting so, solving problems, doing things there. You're yeah. a manager. Well, I use my hands for work. I use my hands for work. I'm a heavy equipment operator, so I need my hands. Yeah. You see what oh, happened yeah. was, sure, sure. I, I stuck my finger. I, here's what happened. I stuck my finger in your bowling balls. Later that night, I went home, and my nail came off. Ooh. Okay. My nail came off because of one of your goddamn bowling balls. I couldn't go into work. The next day, they told me to leave home because my fingers look really nasty. They said they don't want me to spread whatever I had on my finger to the machine. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, so I'm to you because it was your bowling ball that messed up my finger. Yeah. I'm going to need you to pay me for that day of work that I missed. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you on a quick hold, and I'm going to put you in touch with my general manager. And he's going to be uh, the one who can help you out the best for this, okay? Okay. Okay. It'll just be like uh, two minutes tops. I just need to go get him. Hurry up. Up again. Is this there? Can I help you? Yeah. Who am I speaking to? My name is Eric. Eric, you're a general manager? I am. So what happened was I was there bowling on Tuesday night, and I stuck my finger in one of your balls. And I don't know, at some point something happened, and my nail nail got kind of messed up. I went home that night and took a shower, and my nail fell off. I went to work the next day. They said, you can't be operating the heavy equipment with your finger looking like that. They sent me home. So I'm pretty pissed because I'm 90% sure it's because of your goddamn bowling balls, and I had to miss work. Okay. Um, so, and what is your name, sir? My name is Hector Ramirez. All right, Ramirez. Then, Hector, did you let anybody know before you left of what had happened? I didn't think nothing of it. I mean, your bowling balls, do you guys wash your balls? Do you wash them every day? We sanitize the bowling balls. You see, also, I scratched my ass a little bit, and now it's kind of, it's gotten itchy. Really itchy. Milwaukee Bull, this is Maddie. How may I help you tonight? Hey, Maddie. How how are you? Good. How are you? How's it going? Well, I'm a little intoxicated, to to be honest, but I came in here bowling with some friends, and I went looking for the bathroom but all I see is this, these machines, and they got bowling pins in their hands, and they keep disappearing. A lot of machines around here, but no toilet. Wait, I'm so sorry. What was that? Yeah, you know, you you know, like I'm drinking. You understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, and I went looking for the bathroom. And like I, it's like I found a room instead that's got a bunch of machines in here and bowling pins. And it makes a lot of noise. Yeah. Well, um, are you saying you're in the back of the house right now? I'm look. I was looking for the bathroom. Is what I was looking for. Yeah, well, the bathroom's up near the front counter, so if you want to come on up to the front counter, we've Hang got on. bathroom. These mach- these machines are loud. Hang on, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna flip these switches and make them shut up so I can hear you better. Yeah, I'm flip. I'll flip. Flip this one. Yeah, I'll hold on one second one. too, boss. I'm gonna make sure that you flip the switches right. I'm flipping some switches. 
Oh, yeah. Rut row. What Thank are we you calling? Thank for calling Tiger Gold. This is Heidi. Heidi, hi. Hi. Uh, I got into quite a, a situation here in the bathroom. A man took a bowling ball in here and he's been smashing the mirror, trying to hit me with it. Right now? Yeah. Come here, motherfucker. Come here, motherfucker. What? Get away from me. Get him out of here. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, he's hitting me. Oh. 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 Now we're back here. He's chased me into the back. Hello. Mount Hood Lanes, this is Jesse speaking. How can I help you? Um, Jesse, I'm I'm in the bathroom and there's a crazy guy. He put the bowling ball in the toilet. He's trying to flush it. Uh, that is not good. I'll be there in just a second. Yeah, he's crazy. His name is Elasma. He's crazy, this guy right here. And there's a guy in the bathroom taking a shit. Hello, Big Alice. Yes, yeah, this is Al available. I need to speak to Big Al. Uh, say that again? I'd like to speak to Big Al, please. Uh, yeah, this is Big Alice. No, I want to speak to Al himself, a big motherfucker. I want to talk to Big Al. Hello, West Seattle Ball. Hello? My balls got stuck. Okay. Oh, there's a man in the bathroom trying to bowling ball in the toilet. I dropped a bowling ball in the toilet. Now I can't shit. Okay. Can you get you get your fat ass in here and get this guy's bowling ball out the toilet? He's taking his shit. Okay. 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 What if they're uh, playing a game, pissing into the holes of the the finger holes, and they're trying to get it to overfill from each hole into the toilet, like a Rube Goldberg nightmare machine? So they've got multiple bowling balls, sort of like balanced to try and get the stream to. Go into one of the holes and then into the other bowling ball. Thank holes you for calling Garage and have a good day. Toilet. Yeah, I think I'm trying. Tell to him, Elasma. Tell him. Yeah. You know, Oxford Lanes is Billy. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Do you have eight pound balls? Yep. Where do you buy your underwear? So that was okay, I guess. Uh, you, you're going to accept that? Sure, why not? That, I get a passing. I get a passing grade. I think so. Okay. All right, I thanks. appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Love you. you. Got it. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yay! A million fucking. Hello. Shall we park bull? Hi, there's a guy in the next stall over here in the bathroom. He's got three oh. balls. And he's peeing into each one the the finger region and then oh. bouncing the water from his piss stream. <laughs> Come on, I'll do it, damn you. Help you? Hello? Hello? I'll do it. I'll do it, motherfucker. Marlene, this is Marty. 
Yeah, why'd you hang up now? We're just talking. Can I help you? Is there a manager I can speak to? I don't like how you That's just hung up in the middle of me talking to you. Uh, there was nobody talking, sir. This is the manager. What can I do for you? You're the manager. What's your name, please? My name's Marty. Marty, well, I have an issue going on with your balls and your bowling. <laughs> okay. I was there on Tuesday, and I stuck my finger in your balls, and I woke up the next day after going to work, and my finger was green. Mm-hmm. I went to the doctor, and they told me it could have been from one of your bowling balls. How often do you clean your balls? I clean my balls enough. I don't have time for your prank phone call. Call back another time, all right? Have a good night. Who's Dude, doing? Who's doing? Hello, Skimbo. How may I help you? Hello, Skimbo. Hey, How may I help uh, you? Steven, I have a problem with your shoes. With what shoes? The bowling shoes. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Okay, so you're talking about shoes that you bought through the pro shop? We rented them. And so here's here's what happened. After we bowled there, we went to a nail salon, and we had a you know one of them like manicures where they put your foot in the foot bath and all that. Okay. And then afterwards, I had foot fungus, and I think it's from your shoes. Uh, the shoes get sprayed with disinfectant spray every time. Nah. Every. No, they Probably get sprayed with disinfectant. Nah. They get they get nah. sprayed with disinfectant spray every single time. Do you spray so your balls with the same disinfectant spray every time? No, we wipe those down with a different cleaner. Oh, so you you spray the shoes and you wipe your balls. Okay. Yep. What do you wipe your balls with? Cleaner. Doesn't it sting, though? No. Doesn't it sting? No. Nope, no, it's a different, so type, what are we gonna of, do it's about a different type of cleaner. Do about what? Oh. How often do you clean your balls there? Every time they, they come back in, we wipe them down. Every time the shoes come back in, they get sprayed with disinfectant spray. So every time you use your balls, you wash them, right? Okay, so what are you getting at? Are you talking about the bowling what balls? What I'm getting at is I have, foot, I have foot fungus from your bowling balls. You don't have foot fungus from my bowling balls, no. But you don't know how I bowl. I use my toes. I put my toes in the holes. Okay, I throw I the I ball have... with my feet. You, don't you have, have a good evening, okay? All right, bye bye. Campbell. Hello, hi. Hi, Campbell. What can I do for you? To... Well, I'm trying to figure out: uh, is it a long wait to get a lane? Uh, I won't have any lanes until about 10:30 or 11 o'clock. I got a full house of league right now. Okay, do can I can I reserve one, or is it first come first serve? It's all first come first serve. Okay, uh, and can I ask what the what the rate is uh, for the for the per game and per shoe rental? Yeah, so it's five ninety five per person per game plus tax, and then five twenty five per person for shoe rentals. Okay, and do um uh, do you clean your balls? Because the last time I was in there, I got a foot fungus from the bowling ball. Well, you wouldn't have gotten a foot fungus from a bowling ball because you put your hand in a bowling ball, not your foot. So, well, I have a double uh, amputee. Clean, clean. I don't have arms, so I I bowl with my feet. Okay. Uh, we clean our bowling balls and shoes after every single use. Okay. Do you, you with what type of cleaner may I ask? Because I do have allergies. Uh, it's it's an alcohol based cleaner. Okay. Okay. So it's not water based because I'm allergic to nope. water. Nope. It's alcohol. Okay. And do you and do you spit on your balls? It was for seven fifty or seven dollars. Hi, how what? are you, ma'am? Yeah. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Me, me and my friend, me and my friend, want to come in bowling, and we want to know. We got seven dollars between us. What will that get us?
bowling? Yeah, and I have, he bowling. has seven dollars. I have thirty-two cents. Uh, but we're not a bowling alley, actually. We're at food. Where are you? We're at. We're at. We're a restaurant. A bowling restaurant. All right, that how food can we get? That sounds ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we're a restaurant. We're not a bowling alley. Baby. How much food? Ask her how much food we can get with seven dollars and thirty-two cents. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask her real quick. She sounds fat in the neck. Excuse okay. me, ma'am. How much food can yeah. we get for seven dollars? I mean, you can get appetizers and stuff with that. What, uh, what type of appetizers? Well, we have edamame, gyoza, veggie gyoza, and our sushi. Oh, here we go with the edamame. You fucking cat is always telling her. She's like, edamame this, edamame that. Sea salt. Sea salt on the edamame. But she microwaves it like a heathen. We don't like yeah, cat. Yeah. Right. Catastrophe. We don't like her. Oh, I'm sorry. That's she, she's always that's like, it. edamame this, edamame that. And then she's like, oh, here's some Pollock paneer with breast milk. She's She's filthy. And oh, then I'm she bends over that. and spits her ass and gives us a big fart. Yeah, she and her farts vagina, in our ear when her vagina smells like Gruyere cheese. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Don't even get us started yeah. on our friend Nunu, that motherfucker. Okay, well, He's a South I can Indian. Help? Indian. Is there anything I can help you with? What's your name? I'm what was your name? My name is Liz. Is there any Liz on the name? Is there any Liz on the name? Is there anything I can help you with? Um, yeah, do you, sorry, have, any, do you have any Icarus on the menu? No, you, do you have any Icarus on the menu? What, what am I doing? In the coma lane? <clears throat> yeah, is there a manager? I need to speak right now. I have an issue with your balls. Well, give me one moment. Her balls are too big. She just did the snap cakes noise. Scomaline, this is Frank. Hello. Who is this? Who am I speaking to? Frank? This is Frank, yeah. Hey, Frank, hey, I have a no, goddamn hey, problem don't, with your don't, bowling balls. Don't let her fool you. That's her just doing a man's voice. Are you messing with me right now, Frank? So how can I help you? I was there on Tuesday, and I was bowling. I fingered your balls a little bit, and I woke up the next day with green stuff under my nails. I went to the doctor. They said it's a finger fungus from bowling balls. I missed work Wednesday and yesterday. So I need to talk to you because you're going to need to compensate me for the two days that I missed. Huh. What you're going to want to do is call back between 10 and 3 and talk to the owner. Okay? Who's the owner? <laughs> the guy that works during the day. You can call him And Mike. what's his name? I'm calling and asking, may I speak to the owner? Well, you can... Mike. And what do you do there? Well, I answer phone calls. And what, you're just not going to help me out? You're just going to put me along to the next person? Correct, because there's really nothing I can do to satisfy you. The owners are going to have to talk to you. Satisfy me? Do you guys even clean your balls there? So you'll want to speak with the owner. Have a nice day. I'll have you know that I... I I have you know that the, the fungus spread. <laughs> Hi, Trey Bull. This is Logan speaking. How can I help you? Logan, you're the guy I need to speak to. You know a lady named Crispy? Christy. Um, any description of her? I think I might. Is she a league bowler? Yeah, well no, she's not a league bowler. She's an amateur. She's a uh, She's kind of, she's about five five. Uh, she's Hawaiian, has long black hair, um, a little bit a nice rack. Um, it's certainly not ringing a bell. Uh, why? What's up? Do I need to take a message for someone? 
Yeah, well, you need to take a message for yourself because Crispy told me she fucked you the other day, actually. She told you she what? She told me that she was at the bowling alley and you were working there and you guys locked eyes and that she saw you across the room and came to talk to her and you guys ended up fucking that night in your car in the back seat. Interesting. Very interesting. And when did she say this happened? I can put her on the phone right now. You want me to go get her? It doesn't sound like you're uh, taking this serious. Because uh, that definitely didn't happen. I haven't been here for the past two days. Crispy! Hey. Yeah? Um, we had a really good time, but you never called me back. Uh, Why didn't you back, Logan? Why didn't I? I have no clue who you guys are. Listen, if this, if this isn't about bowling, I'm going to have to let you guys go. We have leagues going on right now. But I, I let you but I let you put it in my ass. That's an interesting statement right there. Logan, you motherfucker, and you didn't call her back? No, sir, she didn't leave my number. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Did you finger did you finger her? Did you finger her Bye-bye. like a bowling ball? <laughs> Hello, let's get a ball. This, he just fucked her in. Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. Listen, uh, my 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 person, my friend in here, he's in a wheelchair and he's trying to bowl, but your balls are too big. Where can I get some smaller balls? I mean, all the all the balls are the same size. They're just, they're just deferring weight. Yeah, but they're too big for his hands. Like the balls are too big. Well, they don't make them any smaller. Okay. Um, do you have any? Do you have a cleaning product of any type that we can use? Because he keeps spitting on each ball. He keeps trying to um, show us his quote unquote screwball. He's like, I watch this. I'm gonna make it spin. He spits on it, and throws it down the lane. Um. I mean, we do have cleaning products. Yeah, he keeps spitting. He spits on the ball, and then he, he rubs it, and he throws it. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out. we got to clean this up. And it, what is this? Yes. Hey, Mo, just come. Check the bumble page. Hello? Hey, on the screen. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello? hello? Yes, I've got yes, it out. Yes, Lizard speaking. Yes, Who's I this? was in my room. I was in my bed. And I was asleep. And a man came at the window and he lured me out of the room. And I'm outside. And I haven't any idea. Who is this? Oh, it's Miriam. Miriam Who Jones. Who is this? Miriam. Yes. Hello. I've got it out. I can't see a thing out this? here. It's Miriam. I live here. Yes. I was asleep. And I've got it out. And I've making a mess of my trousers. Yes. Oh, God. It's coming out of What is your name? Ways. Miriam. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. 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 Okay. Can you help with the door? What is your name? Because what is your name? What is your name? Miriam. 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 Yes. Miriam. 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 Yes, that's my name. Don't swear it out. Miriam. Miriam! Yes! Miriam! Oh God, I can't find my way in! Why oh can't I find my way in? Miriam! It's my name! Yes! Oh God! Oh God, I can't find my way in! I've, I've got... I've got it out! I've got it out! Yes! Oh God! Oh, yes! Oh, it hurts so good! Oh God, yes! Yes! I 
I'm driving the Coca-Cola truck. I'm, I'm making deliveries. Hello. 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 Thank you for calling Empire. How can I help you? Hi. Pizza? Yeah, what can I get for you? No, no, that's the thing, is you got, uh, I don't know how to explain this whole situation. All right, so I'm at home, right? And first first off, I didn't order pizza, because I, it's gluten, and I'm gluten-free. But I opened my door, and there's a whole pizza from you guys sitting on my front door, and it's got one slice missing out of it, and they've got it mounted on my, t- on my uh, antenna for my car, my radio antenna, and it's just hanging there. Was this delivery? I, I guess, but I like I said, I didn't order it, so I don't know. I don't know why it's here. Number one, because I didn't order a pizza because I'm gluten free. I'm also vegan, and there's cheese on that, and I don't enjoy cheese. Give me one second. Bitch. Vegan and gluten free. Trying to think what's left for you. The triple threat. The triple double threat. At that point, you just commit suicide. Free range, fair trade, organic. <laughs> this better be free range pizza, motherfucker. Yeah. I think that guy. Oh, and you if only the, do if, raw food, so they have to if, give you the dairy cow. Ask him if the mushrooms were humane. Were humanely. <laughs> You mainly Or the mushrooms right. you mainly read. Hello? Oh. Yeah. Oh. How you doing there, bud? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm gonna switch up exactly everything I was just doing. Listen, question about my pizza. Yeah. Uh what? well because I believe were the were the uh were the ham hogs, the ones you do the bacon and the ham, were they uh were they free range pigs or no? Wait, excuse me? Yeah, you know the animals that you use to make bacon and pigs, right? Oink, oinks? Yeah. yeah Wait, I thought you ordered a... your company using... Wait, are you ordering a pizza right now? Huh? Sorry, I'm, I'm... She just handed me the phone. I don't really know what's going on. 
No, I ordered. I had one ordered already, and b- before I eat this, because I don't want to feel any more guilty because I'm a fat motherfucker, and I don't want to eat any more pizza unless this was they were humanely uh, slaughtered. Do you know if these were free range pigs or no? The the pigs for the bacon. And yeah, bacon and ham. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me check. Give me, give me like thirty seconds. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, sorry. Yeah, they are not free range pigs. Okay, so I, you, I basically ate murder pigs. Uh, you, it's just normal bacon. Well, no, I had but bacon. But you haven't I had bacon eaten it yet, right? Yeah, we don't have well, ham. Not yet. I only had I had one slice. I had one slice. Oh, you had one slice. Yeah, we don't have ham though. It's prosciutto. Are the uh, are are the um, are the mushrooms organic? Were they humanely picked and slaughtered when you put those on too? What happened? Show tummy. My mom doesn't want to see my tummy. Brooklyn Pizza. Hello. Hi. Could you move over a little bit more to the left and show your tummy? I just, just want to see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Anything I can get for you today, man? That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, have a good night. Bye. Uh, you, already got me hor- you already got me horny. Please wait a moment. No ass chubbies. <laughs> we called chubbies. No ass chubbies. I need some goddamn oh. anchovies right now on my pizza, please. Please wait a moment. Great touch. Same number and try number once. Hell yeah, oh, this is my bomb. It's cat suck a dick. Oh, suck a dick. Nah, da, da, Touch my penis, touch my penis, touch my penis, touch my penis. Stupid motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Piece of shit, you stupid bitch, you stupid bitch. This is how I sing to all songs. Suck the dick. Suck my dick, you stupid motherfucking piece of shit. Suck my dick. For calling balls, this is how many can I help? Oh, my Hello? balls, bro, they got stuck in the toilet. Sorry? My bowling ball got in the toilet, bro. It's a great day at the Quality and Sweets. Key this is Katie. How may I help you? Hi, Katie. How are you? Good. Katie, if you didn't what's wrong? Can I help you with something? Your audio is really weird. Is there a manager I can speak to? Uh, no. There's, uh, she's not on the clock right now. Is there anybody above you that I can do because I don't think you can help me with what I need right now? Uh, nope. Just me. <sighs> Take a message. Can I leave a message for somebody? A message for somebody? Yeah. Yeah, like a manager or somebody, like like the owner or something. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, message uh, start. It's, hi, hello, good morning. This is Hector Ramirez, and I would like to just complain about somebody I spoke to that works there. Okay. Her name is Katie. She refused to let me talk to a manager or someone above her. She made really rude comments towards me and um, a very inappropriate remark about my eyes and how she got lost in them because they're so nice and my eyelashes. And Um, me and Katie went on a date. Um, we had a good time. I was having fun. 
we ended up going back to my place and she stayed and then after she never called me back the next day mm, really and now I'm really pissed yeah why'd you do that Katie <laughs> who is this am I not good enough for you I mean, it's a possibility. Oh, really? So what? You just hear better than else you come into contact through what? Do what? You just you just walk around thinking you're better than everyone else, or what? Well, I never said that. So what's up? Why the fuck am I not good enough for you? What's wrong? I gotta go. I got work to do. Babe, no, come on. Babe, please. Well, no. Wait, Diamond, how may I help you? Oh, they put the pool cube in my ass. Oh. Excuse me? In the bathroom, in the bathroom, they put it in my ass. They're putting the pool cue in me. I don't Shack and Q. Shack and Q. You have a phone number? Hello? Hello? How are you? Who's this? I know you can fucking hear me. Yeah, I just said, who's this? My name is Hector Ramirez, and they put a, a pool stick up my ass because I lost the game. Oh, that sounds fun. It was a guy named Dwight and a guy named Melasma. They, like, cornered me, and they told me, breathe, breathe, because if I resisted, it was going to hurt more. Okay. Listen, ma'am, he so... lost the bet, and now he's trying to welch on the bet. Like, tell him he's got to take the pool cue in the ass. Damn up. This is Dolly three. Silver and Tavern. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi, you gay. Hello? Hi. So, hey. I'm gay. Hey, where's the gay bathroom at? Yeah, we wanna have a three spot. Who wants to talk into my ass? Hi, thank you for calling Grandma Tony Speed Talk and Broadway and Colts. This is Zoe. How may I help you? Hey, Zoe. How you doing? Listen, uh, I don't know who thought it was a funny haha joke, but I paid for a full pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I, I get the today? box, right? And it feel, Yeah, yeah. It feels really light, right? So I get it inside. I open it up. Literally, it's a ring of just the crust. The middle portion is gone, cut out, like where you would have the sauce and the toppings and everything, gone. All it is is a ring, like a big-ass breadstick ring of crust. Mm -hmm. And did this happen to you today? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do I can get my manager for you. Okay, yeah, I think this is an appropriate time for a man to be yeah, on the phone, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll get that for you. Just one moment. Oh, good. You're a good woman. Yeah. Ah. It's time for live yeah. calls on a Friday night. Sure. If you ain't kicking uh, it with uh, us, then that ain't right. You need nah. to be right here with Axel and his on, best yeah. friends, Miriam Dwight, Milkman, Ted Webb, yeah. DTB, Catastrophe, MST3, uh -huh. Clay, Snappy Pigs, Mad Hatter, Lena Crispy, yeah. Kenji, Panty, Terroir, Gordo, Dark yeah. Hunk, we having fun, making the world go crazy yeah. as we call the number spot that you know so bad. Hello? Hi. Hi. Did 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 she explain the whole situation there? Because I'd really have to head. I'd really hate to have to repeat myself. I, I'm not. I'm yeah, not good yes, at that. we heard. We heard what happened. Oh. Okay. All right. So what are we gonna do about this? Um, I could get an address and I can uh, come deliver the same pizza back to you. Okay. Well, I I I don't want to put I don't want to put you out and make people waste gas because I'm not gonna tip again. I'll, I'll come to no, you no, it's to fine. get pizza it's fine. if I need to. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh -huh. I can do it. Yeah. 
This is on okay. us. All right. Okay, all right. I, I just didn't want another guy to waste gas, and then, you know, I'm not going to tip and stuff, and I, did, I didn't want the driver to be... It, it, uh, it's perfectly you know. fine. All right, all right. Okay, so how do we do? What do we do here? All right, so I'll just have to ask uh, for your address, first of all. Yeah. Uh, it's 1129851. Sorry, hold on, hold on. One one two nine. That was eight five one. Eight five one one eight five one. Uh huh. I'm sorry, my phone's being a little wacky. If you need me to repeat something, just just let me know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, just the uh, the one one eight five one. Yeah, yeah, two nine five one uh, is the last uh, of that, and then I'll give you the name of the street. Two nine five one. Yep, and then it's horse H O R S E Machine Ranch Ranch Road. Alrighty, so that is one one eight five one two nine five one Horse M Ranch Road. Horse machine, yeah, horse machine ranch road. Horse machine ranch road, gotcha. Correct, yep. And then what did you order? I I just had a large pepperoni and mushroom. Large pepperoni mushroom, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because I read an article online that you you guys use free range uh, pepperonis for the pizza and then that the mushrooms are organic, so... Uh, after I saw that on TikTok and then I read it on the New, on the New York Post, uh, I was like, ah, I got to give these guys a try. Like I didn't know you were in my area until I Googled it, and I was like, oh, this is this is great. It's great. All right. Yeah. All right, and then I'll, I'll let you know when I uh, arrive there. Oh, okie dokie. Uh, no rush. I mean, I'm gonna be up for a bit, so. Uh, Alrighty. Whenever sure you, thing. Whenever you get here, uh, if uh, if you want to honk the horn, because I've got dogs, and if you ring the doorbell, um, they'll they'll get kind of riled up, and they, it'll be a tough time to to put them back down. Gotcha, uh, just gotcha. Honk, just so honk no, the horn, no doorbell. And I'll come out. I'll, yeah, and I'll come outside of my little panties. And Alrighty. Like I'll have thong thong flip flops on, and then I'll come over to your window and I'll bend over inside and I'll say, "What are you looking for, big boy?" And then. And then I'll kiss you on the mouth. Alrighty. I'm fully shaved too. Wonderful. And then I'll I'll have you put on a pair of gray sweatpants and I'll have you do jumping jacks. Okay. Can I just uh, get a phone number? Yeah. Look, look, I've got the caller ID. Need a phone number? Yeah. Well, first you call me Professor Oak. Yeah. I like when you call me that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Sir, do you need your pizza or not? I just took off my shirt. Are you here oh, yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> oh, no. Milkman likes my balls. You got the milkman coming, too? Do you need your pizza or not? Well, it's good. Dude, hey, hey, put yeah. solution on skin. They get it with, like, extra beef. The extra sausage, like meaty, meaty, girthy sausage, <laughs> dumb slut in your butt boy, in your butt. Don't fuck pizza this time before you bring it. You fucked it last time. Cream with it? Your orgasms? And semen? Don't come on my pizza this time, asshole. Sir, sir, I apologize for my children here. Uh, me and my me and my husband that was just talking to you about the the address. 
we uh, we we actually do want the pizza. I'm sorry. All right. He wants to sit on it. That's why he wants hey, the pizza. Hey, he wants to Tony, sit on Tony, it. Shut ass. the fuck up, Tony. Tony and put it in his Tony, shut your mouth. Open your butt. I want the pizza. Shut your fucking mouth. Sit on it. Shut your fucking mouth. I'll fucking never hit you in a minute. Fucking open his ass and sit on the pepperoni slice and pretend it's a little penis. Tony, shut your fucking mouth. Lotion on skin. It's in your butt, boy. It's in your butt. Hey, Taylor, be quiet. It's in your butt, boy. It's in your butt, boy. Yeah. Hello. I need a phone again to do it. I haven't got a bed please. ready. Can we please have a bed? Hello. Yes, I need a room. Hello, from me you're calling. We need a we need a bed. We I'm need a bed here tonight. I had to lay down on the bed and spread my legs wide. Yes. Uh, we need a bed. We need a bed to child tonight. Yes. Oh, hello, okay. from me. F- hello, hello, that's, from me. That's me. From me. The old hello, hello. From me, you're just, calling. Yes, it is. Hello. That's, you told me to call. Yes? That's Miriam. She wanted to call you because we need a bed. Yes. Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hello. yeah. From, from where yes. you're calling. Hello. Hello. Let me take the phone, dear. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, this man has taken me uh, away from my home. Yes. He said that yes, he was you. going to put it in me. But we need a room. Can I get a room uh, there yes. for the night? Miriam, you like that? Yes. Well, what is that, dear? It feels strange. I get my skin. Yes. Operator fought over and over again. It will automatically default you to an Hello, good morning. You don't speak I have Father Hello? Patrick Flanagan. I have... Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hear me now. Um, yes. yes, I, I, I've, I've been told that I, I need to come, come view a body. Uh, once again, this is Father Patrick Flanagan, uh, local archdiocese here. Um, just doing the rounds. The call that there was somebody who needs a little bit of a, a ch- in their last moments. Even if they have passed, it's okay. And save them for God's good graces after the fact, too. I mean, it's rodeo when it comes to the salvation of. And you know what I'm saying? No, I, I don't. I don't know anything about. So if you can call by eight o'clock, maybe you can get. Uh, oh no, the salvation! The salvation of the. Listen, I. I'm sorry. What is your name again? William. William. It's nice to meet you, William. What is that? William? Yes. It's nice to meet you, William. My name is Father Patrick O'Flanagan. Yeah. I, I don't know what your faith is. Yeah, I, I don't know what your faith is, but I'm a, a, a Catholic. It's a country <laughs> that isn't necessarily the most welcome to us Catholics, but... Shepherd I know, I, 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 that need the salvation when they need it. Please, I, 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 I can't hear you. All right, you got to calm down. <laughs> listen, listen, settle down. You need to calm down, William. Yeah. The the Lord's grace can be a little overwhelming at times, but. Keep our composure. Christ is, is the salvation on that. But William, where are you from? Can I speak to you about the love and savior of our Lord Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm listening. You, are you from Are you from the uh, United Kingdom and Great Britain, Northern Ireland? 
But not the Northern Ireland goddamn Ulster is a fucking blight against our, our good Catholic IRA faith. But that's just you and me there, William. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know, about your black and tans, yeah? Yeah, but please, um, I, I, I'm very busy doing medication, so if yeah, you can But William, call. yes, no, no, William, I need, I need, I need a little bit of your assistance here. Perhaps you can like uh, direct me in the the best possible way. I've taken please, a wrong um, turn please. down the street here, and I I need a little direction. It's still my medicine. Help! Old, it's this old medicine. woman here with me. Hello, this is Fesh Group Nursing Home. How may I help? This is Father Patrick Flanagan. I um, I'm just following up on a call I got that uh, somebody might need a little bit of attention. Like dwindling hours. Uh, they said they are right at the end, and that's I. Thrive, you know. Hello, a big old Catholic fool. Hello, oh, yes, I'm a big old Catholic fool. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me? No. I can't even hear you. I just have to pour me a drink. Pour me a drink. Can you hear me? No. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. You said you received a call I, about. Hello. I'm sorry, I can't. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you please repeat yourself, please? And Father Pascal Flanagan, this call is going nowhere. This is just a shitty connection. Let me call you back or something. All right. Hello, All right. Girl. And so does Jesus. Okay. Fuck me. Face and neck. We'll call you right back. All right, bye. Please just fuck. Please just fuck the shit out of me right now, Miriam. Hello. Hi. Um, me and my wife, Miriam, we had a kind of had an issue we need help with. Hi. Um, what's what's the what's the issue this, this evening? Well, we. We need a room. We need to go. We need to get in there. What's the problem? Patches is dead. Our dog is dead. Sorry? Our puppy. Our puppy. Um, what, what's the issue? He ate it. He ate a big one. Sorry? Miriam accidentally left a chocolate muffin on the table. And our goddamn dog hopped up there and ate it. And now he took a big shit on the TV. Hello? Six. Hi. Hi. I need a room for my disobedient family. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Okay, I have them, but they're expensive. Okay, I have six people here. How many rooms is that? Three rooms? Two rooms? Two, four, six, three. Yeah, eight. Ten. Twelve. Seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, sir, I just want to let you know that I plan tomorrow to watch the big football games. And if Georgia wins again and remains number one in the coaches' poll and the AP poll, uh, I'm going to smash your fucking TV. Just saying. I'm, I'm going to break your fucking TV. Okay, well, I'll put you in a room where there's no TV. Motherfucker, fuck you. Texas A&M is number one, bitch. Break your motherfucking TV. Yeah. All right. They're uh, ninety dollars. Oh yeah. Um, How much for the lady for the night? How much will we have to pay you to come stay in the room with us for a little bit? Uh, no, I'm gonna pass. 
Come on, man. We just we don't want to do nothing to you. We just want to watch you. I want to suck his soul through his cock and into hell. That's a demon. We we accidentally burned somebody's shoes, and the demon came out because we said, "Praise bloody hail Mary, Satan!" And now the demon follows me on the phone everywhere oh. I go. Nice. He seems to like you a lot. He usually says a lot of mean stuff, but he he has a liking to you. I will feast yeah. on a salad of this man's pubic hairs. <laughs> He's very right. tame right now. Usually he says something about assholes and dicks and pussies and your mother. And right now he's actually really tame. Interesting. Okay, I got to go. Hold on. My, I'm going to let my demon talk to you. He's my, also my financial advisor. Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you have a 401k? Nope. Do you have any stocks or bonds that hell needs to know about? Nope. Do you have any life insurance? No. Nope. Are you currently being audited by the IRS? Nope. Oh, he's perfect. Bring him to hell. Bring him to hell. He's perfect. I'll suck that dick. I'm going to suck the head roll right out of him. We're going to need you to come to the room and cut yourself and drip the blood in a circular size motion and then a star, like a pentagram, in the middle of it. At the same time, you're going to need to recite the alphabet backwards while moonwalking in a 90-degree angle, looking at the sky. Once you can do that, you're going to have to do two backflips and land simultaneously on your right foot so you can talk to the evil bloody Satan. My department, I'm Sebastian, the gayest devil. He'll have to sacrifice to me. All right. Happy Halloween. Got to go. Can, can you say evil bloody Satan on the phone for us? No. Just say it. Come on, man. We'll give you anything you want. What does it spell me? Hello? Hello? Motel 6 Balmito, can I help you? Hi, uh, there seems to be some strange noises coming from the room next to me. Sounds like glass breaking and yelling. Are you calling from which room number? I'm, so, I'm, I'm calling from 215. 215. And you're saying this... Hold on one second. What's Why did you say it slow like that? Huh? Nothing, nothing, nothing. How can you help me? Uh, let me check which room. Was was the name 215? Yeah, 215 was the name, yes. No, what's your name, sir? Wasn't... Oh, my name, my name is Dwight. Dwight, and you staying with us in 215, you said? Yeah, I, I just had cosmetic surgery in the room, so I'm very slow to move right now. Are you giving me the right room number? Because I don't have anybody by that name in room 215. Well, I'm, I'm, on, uh, I'm on opioids. Op- opioids. I'm on the fentanyl because I just had, I, some guy came to the room and gave me uh, liposuction. And we got 160 pounds of fat in the bathtub. In the bathtub. Oh, Luigi, I need my noodles. Ted, are you here? Out of front desk, can I help you? Hi, I'm cooking noodles in my room. Uh, we've had a little mistake. I opened the can of tomato sauce. It went everywhere. It's ev- it's on everything. It was a large uh, can of. It was a five gallon. Because uh, I was making a lot for all the the peeps that are coming by. And they're buying uh-huh. out of my 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 vehicle here. You know. Just tailgating uh-huh. it, making making the food, you know, and selling you know, <laughs> spaghetti. But mm-hmm. I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you need like something to clean mm. it up with, or is it really bad? Mm. Yeah, it's 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 on the ceiling. 
My kid was uh, standing there when it when it blew everywhere, and he's covered head to toe in tomato sauce. The ceiling has like an outline of him. It's really um, wild in here. Like I'm a photographer. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my lights in here. I'm gonna take some pictures of it. I just want you uh-huh. to know, you know, why like the room smells like tomato sauce and Dad, Dad, you, it tastes like spaghettios. I know, son. <laughs> Get, you shouldn't be licking it though. It's on the floor. What room are you? Oh, in? yes. Yeah, let me let me give my son-in-law the, the number, the phone here. I need to. I need to get my phone and my camera equipment. Okay. Hi, hey, ma'am. Excuse, excuse me. Hi. Uh, the slow, the slow one that you just heard in the background. Uh, no. The problem is, is they were cook, they were cooking the spaghetti uh, in the bathtub. You know, using the hot water to cook the noodles. Uh, this one decided to go ahead and pull the plug and start letting the water out. And a lot of the noodles went down the drain, and it seems to be plugged. Yay! He, he okay. saw some Orbeez type thing where they did the same thing. Like this guy, I don't know, he ruined a whole neighborhood plumbing system. When he got into the bathtub, okay. he had the Orbeez, and he pulled the plug. Yeah, well, he just did the same thing, but the noodles went down the drain. Orbeez! Uh, and then, okay, oh, oh, okay, we'll take you to Arby's. I, he, I think he's saying Orbeez or Arby's. I'm not sure which. Uh, he's a, oh, Arby's is nasty. Um, but he, it is really. I mean, you can go to Walmart and probably get a, a better deli. Says, hey, calm down. There, we have neighbors. Uh, so, All right. Yeah. Well. See, um, so yeah, noodles are noodles are down the drain, baby. <laughs> the noodles. Yeah, the the noodles <laughs> from the spaghetti that was being uh, made. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Oh me, oh me, oh me. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. I will have her come up here and spank your bare ass if you don't calm down. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Right. I beat your ass, mother. You fucking geek. Uh, All right. Fucking idiot, son of a right. bitch. Go to the front. Go to the front desk. She wants to talk to you. She wants to talk to you. Go to the front desk. No, wear it's your, okay. Wear your high socks, though. Wear your, wear your high socks, not your low ones. Go to the front desk. It's fine. It's fine. If y'all have the things to clean it, then um, it's okay. Okay, well, you give but, it to him, okay? He'll, he'll be down in his wheelchair in a minute. He wants to apologize <laughs> in person. Okay, all right. Yeah! How are we going to... We want to know how we want to know how high your socks are. We want to know how high you wear your socks, por favor. Wait, what? <laughs> Bye. We just wanted to know like how high you put in your socks. Do they go to the knees? Budgeting. Uh, hello. Hello. hello? hello? There's a fucking problem in the room, and I need your help, and you guys are not answering the phone. What room number? Two. We need you to come to the room right now because I opened the door. There's a fucking squirrel in the room. Which room number? I told you already. What type of animal is it? A squirrel is in the room. You need to come get the fucking squirrel out of the room. <laughs> I was waiting. 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 I was um, my my fucking boyfriend, we accidentally go and he did the pillow, so we kind of need a new one, and we need it right now. Um, could you come downstairs for the pillow? No, no, I need you to bring me the pillow to my room. It's 2.15. You got to come because my fucking boyfriend, he accidentally did the pillow. He accidentally does what? It's covered, it's covered in the other white. He accidentally the pillow by accident. What's the room number? Two. Uh, 
Hello? You see what happens? We turn off the light and he goes like this. Oh, and then the pillow is like that. And I don't know, you know. It, the pillow is so good. He fucking, that guy, he fucking is an idiot. Miguel, Miguel, come here, baby. He no listen, so I can ask are you. Miguel, I want his right now. I'll touch it. I told him, I said, you like Imagine Dragons? And he said, yes. And I said, well, imagine dragging these nuts on your chain. And he fucked the pillow. Sir, um, could you come on the front desk for the extra pillow, sir? No, 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 I can't. We don't have any clothes on. We're naked. Uh-huh. Sir, but unfortunately, I'm unable to say that. That's a privacy, so unfortunately, I'm going to say it's oh. so ask you to come. Okay, maybe I give you the phone to my husband, Dwight. Hi, uh, I'm husband slash lawyer. Um, we want to know, are you going to present him with a trespass order if he comes down to the front desk with another man's dick in his butt? Sir? Yes. Um, you're requesting for a pillow, for an extra pillow. I'm just asking you to come to the front desk for the extra pillow. Yes. Yeah, so it will be available... Um, but you pick it up at the front desk. Okay, but are you going to present him with a trespass warning if he comes down for the pilo with another man's dick in his butt? Sir, it will be noted on your room that you have an extra pillow in that room. Okay, guys, go downstairs. No need to pull out. Go. You got a dick butt okay. kiss going. Yeah, show okay. your dick, your dick, your dick butt in, kiss sir. is okay. <clears throat> Four, okay. Now we know. Good evening, Hotel Theodore. This is Amanda. How can I help you? Hi, Amanda. Listen, we got a situation up here in the room. Uh, well, not really the room, but the hallway. Um, okay. My son had a, a, a he had a glass bottle full of uh, pasta sauce. It shattered everywhere. There's glass and uh, and there's there's sauce. Uh, okay. my, uh, what floor? The third floor here, next to the ice machines and the, you know, the stairway here. Like, they were trying to get into the ice machine to cool it. We figured, out oh, we can just throw it in there. But it shattered before it made it there. And uh, My son, okay, is, um, he's, he's covered in sauce. Um, there's a the person had their dog. I don't know if they're supposed to have dogs here, but the dog came over and licked up the sauce and... There, there could have been. I don't know if there was glass in it, you know. So there, that's a that's uh, a problem. Um, and that's that's more uh, yeah, your uh, problem dog- than mine, you know. Yeah. Because I don't know um, the dogs yes, are uh, supposed to be here in the first place, so that's really your fault. Uh, yes, we are a pet-friendly hotel, um, so they fill out paperwork when they come in with the pet. So okay. um, you, you said it's on the third floor. Yeah. They're all in here. They're all there's all these dogs here all of a sudden. Okay, um It's really hang weird. On a second. Uh, what room are you in? On. Here, let me put my husband on. I I'm gonna take care of my son here. Okay. Hi, hello? Oh. Hi, uh yes, what hello, what hello, room hi. are you in? Yeah, there's a Hispanic there's a Hispanic family in here. Um, we're pretty sure they have like a zoo in here, a petting zoo. Okay. Um, one second. The dog, the dog, the dogs, like, they keep opening and shutting the door, but the, there was, the dog came from that room. And uh, there's a little chicken in there, a little, like, little goat. They shut the door again. Hello? Hey, oh, uh, we are sending are, somebody out. Now the cats are chasing the seagulls. Hang on. I like to kill deer. It stepped on the glass. We got glass shards everywhere. Not again. Oh. Son, no! Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. No! Oh. No! Hijo de tu pinche reputa madre, maricón cabrón de mierda. Hey, are you still there?
whole thing where you can be a machine. Okay. Yeah. Guest services, how can I help you? It sounds like a voicemail menu. Hi. Hi. I'm a lesbian. Yeah. Oh, it's great. See, my, my 12-year-old daughter just came out. She's telling everybody. The raider could not my daughter everywhere. with that kid because she hung up. <laughs> Hello? Hi. How my, my my twelve year old my twelve year old daughter has something she wanted to say. Okay. I'm a lesbian. I'm sorry. I'm a lesbian. Okay, prank Are calls you okay are not funny. You, can, you cannot be calling this hotel. You're not doing funny because you're rude right now. Is it? You're not like about to do that. <laughs> I'm a uh, lesbian. Hello? Yeah, my daughter just came out as a lesbian, and we bought her a Subaru. Can you go and check to see if it's still in the parking lot? In the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, because we're afraid it's going to get broken into because it is a Subaru. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see here. What's the plate number? Do you know? Uh, yeah, it's N0, D is in dog, 1, C is in cat, K is in kite. Okay, N O D one C K. No, N N zero N zero N zero D one C K. Okay, N zero D is in dog one C is in Charlie K is in kilo. Right. Okay, excellent. I will go ahead and double check, it, but it should be fine. It's, yeah, it's we a, do it, have a guard it, patrol. It's a, pink, it's a pink lesbian Subaru with license plate no dick. Okay. Got it. I will go ahead and take a look out for that. But we should be fine. I can call you back if you'd like to make sure it's safe. Yeah, yeah, call me back. Call me back if uh well call me back to confirm it, it's all right. Okay, what's the uh number that you'd like us to call you back at? Uh well I left it on the caller ID. I I'm, I'm smooth like that. Okay. Let's see. Uh seven eight six 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 six. Yep. All right. I will go ahead and take a quick look at that, <laughs> and then uh, I'll call you back to make sure it's all right. All right. Well, I'm just hailing Satan because my daughter is – she's a lesbian. Okay. <laughs> all right. Call you back in just a second. I'm okay. Gay. Sounds good. Hello? Hi, this is Tristan from the Belltown Inn. I am delighted to inform you that your pink Subaru is still safe and sound in our parking lot. Miss General, red shoe. Yep. The pink Subaru with the NOD1CK license plate. Can we discuss this? Yes. Hello? There's a stalker that has our numbers and um they have your numbers? Miss General, red shoe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh I'm you not called me from your number. I know it was not you. Okay. No, I got a call from this number earlier making sure that a certain vehicle was still in our parking lot. Well, the scam was... likely thing, I'm the person that wrote that code, okay? Now, millions of people have seen scam likely come up over their phone. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, I'm just saying, I got a call from this number checking about a vehicle at our property Okay, and now so millions of people have seen scam likely come up over their phone. Okay. Are, are you saying that our number came up as a scam? I called the guy because he's military. Oh, no, this is a hotel. If you guys want to get to the bottom of what's going on, we can. The, the red shoe, we're going to talk about the red shoe. We're going to talk about that red shoe. I'm going to blow the motherfucker up. They're new guys. So, anyways. Okay.